Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel, and today we're going to take a look at a Boss V Plow mounted on a Kubota BX2380. Let's take a closer look. So the tractor we are using for this video is a Kubota BX2380. It's a four-wheel drive diesel subcompact tractor. Up on the roll bar, we have forward and rear-facing LED lights. On the rear wheels, we have some rear weights, and the tires are filled with liquid. This tractor does have a three-point hitch, and the customer will be using a weight box on the back of the tractor. On the front, we have the custom-mounted Boss V Plow, and that's the 5-foot, 6-inch ATV slash UTV V-XT model plow. Now we'll take a look at the back side of the plow and all the reinforcements. Plow has side markers on each side and has a nice heavy-duty cutting edge on the front. The outside of the plow is about 23 inches high. It's about 19 inches high in the center. If we measure from the outside edge of the cutting edge to the other side, we'll see it's about 70 inches wide. Standing behind the tractor with both blades backward, we can see that the blade sticks out past the tires on each side. And if we look up on this side here, can see that the blade sticks out about 12 inches past the tires on each side. Mounted on the front of the tractor, the plow sits about 29 inches away from the front of the tractor and about 32 inches away from the wheel. With the plow fully raised in the straight position, you can see we have about 16 to 14 inches of clearance across the front of the plow. With the plow fully raised, See the mounting frame is about five and a half inches off the ground. Up on the front of the plow frame, we have a plastic cover. This is covering up the hydraulic pump. And this unit is electric over hydraulic. The frame on this plow is originally meant to fit a Kubota RTV 400, but has been modified to fit our BX tractor. The plow can easily be detached from the frame of the tractor by pulling on this pin right here, pulling it back and locking it into that off position. Same with the other side. And then the plow frame right here and all the way back to here will come off of the tractor. The only thing left on the frame of the tractor will be this custom mount right here. And that will stay on the tractor. So if you ordered the plow for the Kubota RTV 400, you'd get this mounting frame right here. This bracket here is also included in that frame. You will need to weld on these L brackets and this side bracket right here to fit your BX tractor. So if we look down the front of the tractor, See, there's four bolts mounting the plow frame to the tractor frame. You can also see there's heavy-duty angle iron that's welded onto the plow frame for support. The heavy-duty angle iron is also welded to our plow frame, but it's not welded to the tractor frame. Looking down the right front, we can also see how the mounting brackets are welded to the plow frame and how the plow frame is bolted to the tractor. On the right side of the tractor, you can see how they ran the electric bolted the plow frame to the frame of the tractor and wire tied fast as the heavy duty plug connector for our plow. An electronic hand control comes with the Boss V plow and it's been wire tied fast to the loader arm. The wire has been run across the tractor and down underneath the fender. Up on top of the hand control there's an on off switch. With it on all the functions will work. If it's switched to off and the tractor's running you can press the buttons and nothing will happen. The hand control has five buttons. Top left moves the left blade forward. Bottom left moves the left blade backward. Top right moves the right blade forward. The bottom right moves the right blade backward. The arrow up will raise the plow. The arrow down will lower the plow. If you push down, it will not put pressure on the blade down. Basically, we'll be in the float position. Now we'll go ahead and start the tractor up. Raise the blade, put the left side forward, put the right side back. See what that looks like from the front. Go ahead and lower the blade. Cutting edge lays nice and flat on the macadam. Pull that back. Now you can 
move both blades forward, left side forward, right side forward, and you can scoop the snow and move it on top of a pile if you want. if we move the left side back and the right side forward. If you move them both forward, you can see that the scoop also lays flat on the ground. the blade up, right side back, right side forward, stop it in the middle, left side back, left side forward, stop that in the middle. There is no actual stop in the middle, so you're going to have to judge for yourself what you think is straight. The button will stop in any position. So you can move it a little bit at a time or you can press it all the way down and just move it all the way. And so that's something a little different for you guys. A Boss V plow mounted on the front of a Kubota BX2380. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll leave some information about the dealer in the description box so you can check them out if you wish to purchase one of these V-plows or maybe have a question about the mounting of the plow. They'll be glad to help you out. Please check out my Facebook group. It's Tractor Tread Use Tractors for Sale. You can post used equipment on there if you like. I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel. See you on the next one.